All right, guys, here we go. We're going to go ahead and pressure test the Duramax. I know the customer said that it is the water pump. The guy's actually a mechanic himself. He fixes cars, uh, but he doesn't really mess with the Duramaxes, and he's a little bit afraid of, uh, of uh, trying to tackle this water pump because of the crankshaft pulley, which is pretty much the whole job is getting that crankshaft pulley off. So again, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and pressure test the system for my own benefits. Hey, guys, don't mind the cats. Those are neighborhood cats fighting right there. I don't know why. But there it is, you guys. Uh, let me show you uh, the pressure tester and what is needed here. Okay, guys. So that is the original cap right there. As you can see, that is the cap that matches it. So go ahead and grab it. Here's the pressure tester. Take it up here, you guys. The pressure tester, I loop the O-rings just to be sure they don't catch on there and ruin my tool. No, that's for tool longevity. Okay, tools on. Snap it on, you guys. Let me go ahead and set this phone down, and let me go ahead and get this the pump in, guys. So you grab it, guys. Pump. You guys can see it's building pressure. Right now it is at about six pounds. I'm gonna pump it all the way to about 15 pounds, which is the operating pressure of the cooling system. And that is because the cap is designed to only handle up to 15 PSI, 16 PSI of pressure. So there it is, you guys. I'm not sure if you can see. It is pressurized to about 14 PSI right now. I'll pump it up a little bit more right now. Just want to see the initials. So then we look, you guys. Don't forget, you guys. You got to take the fender wheels off and take the skid plate off so you can go ahead and take a look down there. Either way, you're going to want to look at the whole bottom, but so you can look at the water pump area. Here we go. Let me get underneath here. Get this light on. All right, guys, you can see the first signs of the coolant right there already. That's that's the coolant that's been on there for a while. You see the orange? That's the deck swell already starting to come out. Uh, this is something different. He also has a steering gearbox leak, but he's not here for that, so I, I can't really get into that. Um, so there it is, you guys. You can see the leaks from the deck cool that's been happening for a while. And if you guys look way up in there, let's see if I can get this light up in here, you guys. If you guys can see way up in there you can see that the water pump area is leaking the housing to the water pump right there you guys i'm not sure if you guys can see the the fluid building under there but there it is you guys that's the bottom of the water pump right there and you can see where it's starting to leak out already so Let me see you guys bear with me you guys i apologize but there it is it is starting to weep out 